So the other day we had Snow Billy on a Tonight Show with Jack Frost. And we asked him some questions regarding the validity of the story that came out on whether Takashi 69 is telling or not. And this is how he responded. Me and the Notification Gang would like to invite everybody to come join us Monday through Thursday, 9.20 to 10 o'clock for Morning Coffee, where we discuss the events of the prior day and also just talk mess about stuff. See you then. Hey, don't forget to check out the link of the day in the description. Oh, Black Dynamite, I wish it was that simple, but this is much bigger than you and me. Hey, little mama. It may be bigger than you, and it may be bigger than me, but it ain't bigger than you and me. Can you dig it? What up, Snow? How you doing tonight, my brother? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm looking, I'm looking at you right now on on his live, right? Oh yeah, what's up? I'm looking at you. Um, I see. Um, it's not true. I would sue TMZ and what's all this? I see people saying, "Yo, yo." You heard me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so what? So, so what's your what's your view on this? I mean, um, well, let me let me take you off this thing real quick. Um, as in regards to what? Um, like how how possibly do you think it is that he actually did uh point the finger at the people that allegedly shot at I mean well 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 folks well folks well, understand this, right? That's six nine one. It's not a street dude. That's one. Six nine is an entertainer. Okay, so if he decides to cooperate with the authorities, that's what entertainers do. They cooperate with the authorities after they utilize a certain image for their game. So, like, you know, I mean, like, you know, it's, 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 it's fucked up, but this is life, man. Like, you know, this is life. This kid is this kid's a kid. A kid who um got caught with the wrong people. A kid who took... The street like too serious, you know, and it's what happened. So, you know, um, the people who was involved in those incidents should have been more wiser to know not to have indulged with them in them kind of crimes. So, they that man, like at the end of the day. So, I'm like, oh, listen, man, the kid got to do what he got to do to come home, yo. Like, that's the game, bro. That's the game, as we both know, man. Um, yeah, I, I'm kind of. I'm feeling the way you feeling about this at the end of the day. He isn't a street dude. He is an entertainer. So, like, really should he be held to street politics? And most people, especially people that's actually in the street, is going to say no. He shouldn't be held to the same politics. I agree with you on that. Not for nothing. But the question is, do you think he's actually snitching? Do you think he's actually telling? Yes, he's corroborating. Okay. Yes, he's definitely corroborating. And um, I have a meeting to go see him in a few weeks, though. All right. That that sounds like that sounds like a good look. You already know. You know right? If there's anything that I could possibly do, I would love to be involved. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we're gonna definitely discuss that. You know, but at the end of the day, man, you know, you know, you know, these dudes that was with him were just trying to be down too hard. That's all. And when you try to be down too hard. This is what happens. So I don't feel sorry for none of them niggas. Mm. I'm just being honest. I don't care. Like, if you want to be a headache and you don't want to obey by the law abiding laws of society, then they have a place for you. It's mm. called prison. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that is how that works. That's that's a fact, though. Um, you know, so them dudes are trying to be down too bad. They was willing to do anything. So when you want to be down, when you want to be a thug, you want to be a gangster, you want to be down with the way, there's consequences for that shit. So now, you pay the consequence. Stop crying. Hmm. Um, got a question. 
the whole uh because you know your book and everything that's going to be coming out soon exactly my shot the lawyer um um is about to get clear it and it's off okay so i spoke with all you all i'm waiting for at this moment is the um, clearance from the lawyer my lawyer right now copy so i sp okay so you have a lawyer yeah i have i have a yes i'm i'm involved with this rico case man so you are involved with the RICO case. Is there anything that you could talk about? Uh, explain how this it, this involves you, at least? Um, well, it's some things I'm not going to really speak too much on, but yes, I do have a lawyer um, in regards to the case. And at this time, I'm being put between a rock and a hard spot for the most part. You know, but we'll see how things will play out in the months to come. You know, at the end of the day, because um, I I don't play in the streets, homie. So at the end of the day, I'm a legit businessman. You know what I mean? Like I'm a businessman. I'm not a thug. I'm not a gangster. I'm not a street dude. I'm none of that. I'm a legit businessman, Lord of the citizen. Man. I feel you on that. Um... And by that, I'm gonna do with law the citizens do man like you know i'm not in the streets i'm not a gang member i'm not a thug i'm none of that man it's like i pay taxes man like when i was 20 years ago when i was 20 years ago i did 15 years in prison for murder and attempt murder and that life is buried behind me i'm almost a half a hundred that's not my it's not my life no more bro so at the end of the day man like you know when you indulge you know, when you indulge, and there's some people that I know have indulged, and they, got, and, and they have to deal with their consequences, man. You know, like like me back in the days, back in the days when I was putting off my set, and I and I caught the body in the tent murder, and I had a co-defendant. My co-defendant, I spoke to this this morning. My co-defendant never came to jail. I went to jail. Just me. Just me. I'm the one that got the, I'm the one that got the 22 years. Me, nobody else. And I did my time like the man. I didn't tell nobody and I came home. I changed my life, yo. You know what I'm saying? So that's it, man. You know, I don't, right now, I got pulled in the situation because I got shot. And at the end of the day, the, 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 the higher upscale, you know, a person of your caliber, you know, don't get shot unless. This is the situation. When you say the so higher now, ups, when you say the higher ups, who are you, who, so, so. The high, the, the real gangs is the government, the prosecutors, the government, the gangsters. So the they came, gangsters. so they came to you and they told you what? No, but I told you before, a person like you just don't get shot like that. So when that happens, you, it's called a chain of reaction. Like if I wouldn't have got shot, none of this, you know, um, it wouldn't have been as major as it became, but you know, since it's other key players that I can't really speak about right now because it's a real, this is a real big situation. You know what I mean? That um, you know, it's big, man. It's big, but a lot of it is in the book. A lot of stuff that motherfuckers gonna be blown back is in the book. Like that's why my lawyer is getting clearance right now to make sure that everything that I've written in. It's putting out there is all right. You know what I'm saying? You heard me? Yeah, I got you. You just, you know, so, that shit. a lot of things, a lot of things motherfuckers don't know about and want to know about is all in the book. A lot about Takashi, why this happened, why that happened, all that shit is in that first volume. Volume one, 69 shots. Volume one is in there. And you know, or everybody questions will be answered in that book. Trust me. Okay, so now it's we got worth, it's worth it's worth every bit of twenty dollars. Got another question. That's actually good for a book. Only twenty dollars? That's that's that's, that's good. I bought I bought a lot of books. That's not bad. That's a good price for a freaking book. That's a fact. If you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you would like to help dictate the direction that this channel takes, please leave a comment. All comments are appreciated, whether positive or negative. Thank you very much and enjoy your day. And remember, positive thoughts cause for positive things to happen. Let's get it.